Hello there, YouTube. Long time no see. It's been some time since I uploaded a video, but I promise you it was for a good reason. You see, as great as Dead by Daylight is, I eventually found myself yearning for something more, something unique. And that's when I started hearing the voice in my dreams. A voice telling me that there are more asymmetrical horror games out there, games that are coming to attempt and dethrone behavior's beast. And so I took it upon myself to find them. I left my family behind and traveled far and wide, from the deepest jungles of the Amazon to the peak of Mount Everest all the way to various steam pages through my computer. I spoke with kings and sages, and some people on Reddit, and my third eye finally opened. Through the darkness of my subconscious, five games emerged. And now, it is time for me to share the knowledge. In this video, I, Hauntown, being of relatively sound mind, will be revealing to you five upcoming asymmetrical horror games in the vein of Friday the 13th, the game ended by daylight, expected to release sometime in 2023 or later. Before we start, I'd really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing to the channel if you find this video enjoyable. I mainly upload comedic Dead by Daylight content, which I've been told is amazing. Okay, not amazing, but pretty mediocre, which means it's better than half of the videos out there, so, you know, go have a look. And now that I've gotten that off my chest, let's get to the games. We kick things off with Beast Hour, a third-person asymmetrical PvP horror game with a focus on monsters and parkour movement. The game takes place during 1886 in an unspecified, dark steampunk world that is on the verge of an all-out war over a special substance called Arcana, an element that can be used both to fuel machines as well as to give the human body unimaginable abilities, kind of like a magic Viagra. Understandably, Arcana is incredibly sought after but also very scarce, and can only be found in the most dangerous corners of the world, places ruled by enigmatic beings called the Keepers. That's where the Raiders come into play. Tasked by the mysterious organization known only as the Order, the Raiders are exceptional mercenaries that are hired to track down and obtain Arcana from those dangerous places in order to support their side of the world. The only problem is that those places are also of interest to the titular beasts, monsters who travel there to receive blessings from the Keepers in order to prove their worth to another clandestine collective known as the Cult. As you understand, both Raiders and monsters converge on those locations and decide to solve their differences peacefully. Just kidding, they just fuck each other up. The matches in Beast Tower are comprised of five raiders and three beasts, and focus on fast-paced action and cool parkour traversal, which allows you to climb, run, and jump over and across buildings while fighting for your life. Each raider and beast are unique characters with their own style and abilities, which you get to level up during the match in what appears to be a similar system to Evil Dead the game. What is interesting here is that while there are clearly two sides to this conflict, the matches are essentially free-for-all fights, which you win either by escaping or by being the last man standing, so don't trust anyone. Beast Tower has no release date as of now, but will be coming out for PC. Next in our list is Level Zero, a first-person asymmetrical PvP survival horror game clearly inspired by family-friendly science fiction films like Aliens and Event Horizon. Level Zero takes place in the year 2058. A group of researchers from a big company called the New Horizons Corporation embark on a long-awaited space expedition to discover unknown places of the universe, which leads them to planet Turion. Now, if they had watched any science fiction movies, they would know that the correct approach would be to nuke the planet, kill it with fire, salt the ground so that nothing will ever grow again, and then leave. Apparently, science fiction movies are not part of their hobbies, since what they decide to do is go and explore. So they go out of the safety of their spaceship and land face first into the claws of two hungry alien monsters. Level Zero is a 4 vs 2 game. As one of four researchers, your aim is to complete specific repair objectives in order to successfully escape the planet while at the same time fending off the monsters, which are weak against light. You will need to coordinate with your team so that you can successfully set up light traps as well as manage your limited resources and loot the place whenever you can to find more. As one of the two monsters, your goal is to tear the researchers a new one before they manage to escape. You do that by detecting survivor heartbeats and telepathically communicating with each other for their locations, as well as using EMP powers to mess up with light traps so you can slaughter the researchers in the darkness. Level Zero also features a persistent leveling system in which you can use experience points and in-game currency to customize your character in terms of perks and skins for an added layer of incentives. Level Zero is expected to release sometime in 2023 for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and Series S, as well as Xbox One.
In third place, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space The Game, an asymmetrical multiplayer horror comedy title based on the Oscar-winning cinematic masterpiece of 1988. The game takes place in the idyllic town of Crescent Grove, which finds itself invaded by a bunch of aliens that look like the most horrifying monstrosity the human mind ever created. Clowns. Crescent Grove is a sprawling arena where seven citizens will go up against three clowns in a battle of wits, with only one side emerging victorious. Citizens have various classes from which you can choose, all with their own unique abilities. As a lowly human, you will get to explore the city for loot and weapons while trying to sabotage the alien invasion or escape with your life. As a supreme radiant clown, you will get to hunt the lowly humans in order to harvest them using incredibly silly weapons in doing so. The game is produced by the executive director of Friday the 13th The Game, which was actually quite fun, so who knows, maybe this will be fun as well. Killer Clowns from Outer Space The Game will probably be coming out sometime in early 2023 for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, as well as Xbox Series X and Series S. Coming strong in number 2 is Carnival Hunt, a 4 vs 1 asymmetrical survival horror game that reminds you of why you've always had nightmares about carnivals. Or maybe that was just me. Anyway, the game takes place in a horrific carnival where little wind-up bunnies are trying to outlast the terrifying clockwork carnival monster. As one of four bunnies, your goal is to avoid the monster while trying to find wind-up keys to keep your charge high. Cooperation is important, since bunnies cannot turn their own keys and need the help of another to do so in order to last long enough, meaning you will have to rely on others for success, which, as we know, always goes well. To make things even more stressful, the carnival is filled with procedurally generated dead bunnies that you can use as a decoy by playing dead among them in hopes that the monster will not notice you. As the villain, your goal is to capture the bunnies and take their keys, which you consume in order to keep your own charge high. The monster is capable of examining bunnies that are playing dead among other corpses, which will definitely lead to pants cheating situations. To make things worse, each monster also has special abilities like invisibility and teleportation, because being a walking nightmare is clearly not enough apparently. Carnival Hunt is expected to come out sometime in 2023 and so far has been confirmed for PC. Coming hot and overheating in first place is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, an asymmetrical PvP horror game based on the 1974 children's film of the same name. I know, I know, you didn't expect to find this game in the list, it is not that well known and there are no high expectations for it, but I'm all about the underdog, damn it! The Texas Chainsaw Massacre pits four survivors against three members of the lovably cannibalistic Sawyer family and features several maps based on iconic locations from the film. As an unfortunate survivor, you will have to stealthily avoid the killers while completing objectives that will allow you to escape and not be turned into a burger. To that end, each survivor is equipped with their own unique abilities that allow for different playstyles. As a member of the peaceful killer family, you will get to hunt those damn kids that came into your house, which means it is practically self-defense if you really think about it. Each Sawyer has a different skill set, ranging from stealth and agility all the way to brute strength, and will not rest until every single one of those pesky survivors is in a sandwich. All in all, it appears that this game will be fun for the whole family. If you're one of the killers, because if you're a survivor, you're fucked. The title will be published by Gun Media, the company behind Friday the 13th The Game, so you know that it will at least be faithful to the source material. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre will most likely release in August of 2023 for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and Series S, as well as Xbox One. And there you have it folks, all the revelations I was blessed with are now yours. Make sure to share this video far and wide to bring more people into the fold and please like and subscribe if you had fun with it. I'm hoping to get a billion subscribers by next month and I can only do that with your help. Until next time, keep things spooky!